India is preparing to redefine its long-range strike power and air dominance with two game-changing missile systems. The extended range 800 km BrahMos and the new generation Astra air-to-air -air missiles. As both projects move towards induction, the synergy between the Defence Research and Development Organisation and the Armed Forces marks a new phase in India's self-reliant defence evolution. These next generation missiles will not only boost India's precision strike capability, but also strengthen deterrence against hostile neighbours. With these advancements, India's air, land and sea-based missile arsenal is entering a new era of technological superiority and strategic readiness. In a major step towards strengthening India's long-range precision strike and air dominance capabilities, the DRDO and the armed forces are preparing for the induction of next-generation BrahMos and Astra missiles. The 800km extended range BrahMos, which will more than double the existing missile strike capability, is likely to be ready for induction by 2027. Meanwhile, production of the over 200km range Astra air-to-air -air missiles is expected to commence in 2026-2027, significantly boosting the Indian Air Forces beyond visual range warfare strength. The 800km version of the BrahMos missile powered by a modified ramjet engine is undergoing a series of final validation trials to ensure high precision, resilience and jamming resistance. The missile integrates a combination of internal inertial navigation system and external global satellite systems to enhance targeting accuracy. According to different sources, the 800km BrahMos is more or less developed and only a few tests remain to validate its upgraded navigation and propulsion systems. Currently, the Indian Armed Forces operate BrahMos missiles with a range of 450 km. These supersonic missiles capable of flying at speeds close to Mach 2.8 were successfully deployed during Operation Sindhu in May 2025. When Sukhoi 30 MK fighter jets carried out precision strikes deep inside Pakistan, the success of those missions underlined the reliability of BrahMos and the extended range version is expected to further enhance India's deterrence capabilities against adversaries. The new 800km BrahMos can be integrated into existing warship launchers with minimal changes to the fire control software and user interface. Since the basic missile and launcher architecture will remain the same, both the Army and the Navy will induct the 800km variant first while the air launched version will follow slightly later parallel to the BrahMos developments. DRDO is also enhancing the range and propulsion systems of Astra beyond visual range air to air missiles known as BV RAMs. The Astra Mark II variant now undergoing tests is expected to achieve a range of over 200km up from the earlier 160km. The propulsion system is being upgraded to provide higher thrust and longer burn duration while trajectory shaping techniques are also improving interception accuracy. The production of Astra Mark II can begin within 6 months if the current trials succeed, said a senior official. The Indian Air Force has already placed an order for 700 Astra Mark II missiles for its Su-30 and Tejas fighter jets. While over 280 Astra Mark I missiles with 100 km range are already being inducted, work has also begun on the Astra Mark III variant which will feature a solid fuel ducted ramjet engine extending its range to about 350 km. This advanced missile will give India a potent answer to long range enemy missiles like the Chinese origin PL-15 carried by Pakistan's J-10 fighter jets. Once operational, Astra Mark III will offer India a critical edge in long-range aerial engagements, reducing the advantage of hostile air force that depend heavily on imported systems. The land-based 800km BrahMos variant will eventually form part of India's proposed integrated rocket force, a new military branch envisioned to consolidate conventional missile capabilities across the three services. Alongside BrahMos, the IRF will include Preli ballistic missiles with a 400km range and the long-range land attack cruise missiles derived from the nearby system capable of striking targets up to 1000km away. Creation of the IRF reflects a shift in India's strategic thinking from deterrence by punishment to deterrence by denial, ensuring that India can respond to any aggression 
swiftly and decisively. The BrahMos missile system has already become a central element of India's conventional deterrence posture. The cumulative value of the defense contracts with BrahMos Aerospace, the Indo-Russian joint venture, has surpassed 58,000 crore in March 2024. The Defence Ministry signed its largest ever 19,590 crore rupees deal for over 220 BrahMos missiles for the Navy. Nearly 20 frontline warships including advanced destroyers and frigates are currently equipped with vertical launch BrahMos systems. The success of Operation Sindhur in May 2025 also gave a major operational validation to India's missile ecosystem. With the upcoming induction of extended range BrahMos and Astra missiles, India's defence architecture is entering into a new phase of technological advancement. These missile systems will enhance precision strike capability, strengthen aerial superiority and reinforce India's position as a major defence power. The BrahMos, which originally had an operational range of 290 km, now reaching 800 km, and the Astra series which will soon surpass 200 km, together marks a strategic leap for the nation. Deployable across land, sea and air platforms, these indigenous systems ensure that India remains ready to counter any threat swiftly, precisely and decisively.